This video is sponsored by instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check out their website using my link below because they sell games at discounted prices and some games are even up to 90% off. Even some newer games like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This game just came out and it's currently 45% discount on their website. And because I'm their official partner, they offer my viewers a chance to win the game of their choice on their platform every single month. So the next draw is in 12 days. So even if you're not planning to purchase a game in the near future make sure you go over and create your account it's free and then click on this participate button every single month for a chance to win uh, you can see these are the winners of the past few months so congratulations to you guys and let's get back to our video hello gamers welcome to the channel i want to give you guys an update on the frame generation plugin that i talked about previously previously you had to manually install it but right now it's on the store okay so what you need to do i assume you already have decky loader installed okay let me move my camera okay so if you press like this is the steam deck home screen uh in gaming mode all right when you boot up steam deck you should see this screen press the three dot button Okay, and once you've got Decky Loader installed, you should have like go to the bottom here where there's a like uh, power plug icon. Uh, this is Decky Loader. Okay, I've already got Decky Frame Jet. This is manually installed, but now go over to here to the store. Okay, and then okay, I've got to move the camera again. <laughs> here it is. Go to the search and just type Frame Gen. Frame. All right, there, there, now you can see it. Okay, so this is called Decky Frame Gen. So it's now on the store. Uh, the latest version is 0 0.9.1. Okay, so just click install, install, and it's downloading the plugin. And I think that's that's it. I haven't tried this version yet. I'm only using the manual installed version. So let's check it out. But it's, it's going to be so much easier for most people. So if you haven't, like install this if you're on the fence about it it's a free plugin uh the mod is using the dlss enabler mod which is also free and it works for your, your games that support direct x12 and uh has dlss2 or dlss3 frame generation uh games like that so it's free I, I don't understand why you would not install this okay definitely just install it and try it out on your games if you don't like it it's okay, you can you can uninstall it or you can just leave it there and you just use your FSR 3 uh, or whatever upscaling you prefer. Uh, it's not going to impact anything. Okay, so it's kind of like stuck here for a while. I think it's fine. So if you like the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. We talk a lot about gaming handouts, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. Hopefully I'll be getting a Nintendo Switch 2 uh, on release without having to scalp one. Um, and we talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so now yeah, that, that's done. Let me move my camera back. So I've got two. This one is the one that I manually installed without the hyphen. Okay, I'm going to delete that soon. Uh, but this is the new one. And you can see. Okay, so I've already got the mod installed. Uh, but if it's your first time, you, you don't have this. So let me try uninstall it first. Okay, so mod is not installed. So for the first time, it should be like this. And then you click install FG mod. And then here you can select your game to patch. To patch. And right now it, it only recognizes your Steam games. Okay. So if you have a non Steam game, it still works. So make sure you do all these steps, install the mod. And what you need to do for your non Steam games, a lot of people have been asking me. So see something like this Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. This is a non Steam game that I have. Okay. You can see it's not Steam game, it, it, it's running from my games directory. Okay, and all you need to do is just add the launch options yourself manually. So home deck, FG mod, FG mod, and then space, percentage, command, percentage. Just add this yourself and, and it'll work. And it'll work just fine. Okay, so yeah, just a quick update. Let me know in the comment section if you're using this or if you're not using this. Okay, tell me why you're not using it. because It's free. Uh, the plugin's free. The mod is free. Uh, big shout out to the developers of DLSS Enabler, uh, OptiScaler, and also big shout out to the developer for making this plugin, making it way easier for most people to access. 
um, and it's going to be really good for uh, your Steam Deck. So if you have a Steam Deck, make sure you install this mod. That's my tip. All right, signing off. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.